In the ever-evolving EV sector, a remarkable new type of motor is making its mark, the axial flux motor. While traditionally confined to stationary applications like elevators and agricultural machinery, visionary developers have worked hard over the last decade, transforming this technology to suit various dynamic applications. From electric motorcycles and airport pods to delivery trucks, electric cars and even aircraft, the axial flux motor is revolutionising e-mobility. But what is the axial flux motor? And why is it so significant in the EV race? Yassa, a pioneering company in axial flux motors, has been at the forefront of developing this groundbreaking technology. Owned by Mercedes-Benz, the company has been making waves with its axial flux motors prominently featured in the impressive Vision 111 concept car. This eye-catching automobile showcases the artistic design possibilities achievable with this technology. While axial flux motors have been predominantly utilised in hypercars so far, there is an optimistic outlook for their wider adoption on the roads in the future. As the technology matures and becomes more cost-effective, there is a strong likelihood of an increasing number of vehicles equipped with axial flux motors in the coming years. These motors hold great promise in driving the next generation of electric vehicles toward a more sustainable and electrifying future. Conventional radial flux motors, which employ permanent magnets or induction motors in an electric field, have seen significant weight and cost optimization advancements over the past few years. But there are limits to how much they can improve. This has sparked interest in exploring an entirely different motor type, like the axial flux motor, as a compelling alternative. The axial flux motor, though not a new concept, has seen a remarkable surge in popularity over the last two decades. Originally employed in stable applications such as elevators and agricultural machinery, this innovative technology has developed significantly, making it suitable for various modern applications, including electric motorcycles, airport pods, delivery trucks, electric cars and even aircraft. One of the key attractions of axial flux motors lies in their potency within the e-mobility sectors. Unlike conventional radial flux motors that rely on permanent magnets or induction motors, axial flux motors boast a design that maximises torque output for a given motor size. The active magnetic surface area is positioned on the face of the rotor rather than the outer diameter, resulting in superior performance and power density. The compact nature of axial flux motors is another highlight. Compared to their radial counterparts, these motors have significantly shorter axial lengths. This compactness is especially advantageous for in-wheel motor applications where space is minimal. The result is a thinner and lighter structure that translates to higher power and torque densities than comparable radial motors, all without the need to operate at very high speeds. Efficiency is a key focus in the world of electric motors, and axial flux motors do not disappoint. With efficiency levels commonly surpassing 96%, they stand as a testament to the benefits of the one-dimensional flux path they utilise. This efficiency is on par with, or even better than the best 2D radial flux motors available in the market today. The advantages don't stop there. Axial flux motors are typically five to eight times smaller and can be two to five times lighter than their radial counterparts, significantly influencing the choices of electric vehicle platform designers. The axial flux technology comes in two main topologies, the dual rotor single stator, also known as the Taurus style motor, and the single rotor dual stator. Unlike the common radial flux topology used in many permanent magnet motors, axial flux motors feature a different path for magnetic flux. In radial flux motors, the magnetic flux originates from a permanent magnet on the rotor. It travels through the first stator teeth before flowing radially along the stator to reach the next magnet on the rotor. On the other hand, in the dual rotor axial flux topologies, the flux loops start at the first magnets, pass actually through a stator tooth, then immediately reach the second magnet. This results in a much shorter flux path than radial flux motors, allowing axial flux motors to be more compact while delivering the same power output, thus achieving higher power density and efficiency. The use of one-dimensional flux paths in axial flux motors has another advantage, 
it enables the utilization of grain-oriented electric steel, which facilitates smoother flux passage, leading to increased overall efficiency. In contrast, traditional radial flux motors have typically relied on distributed windings, with half of the windings not energized as they overhang the magnets. This design adds weight, cost and electrical resistance and results in higher heat wastage. On the other hand, axial flux motors feature very short coil overhangs and some designs use concentrated or segmented windings that are fully energized, optimizing performance. Additionally, fragmented stator radial machines can experience disruptions in the flux path within the stator, which is not a problem for axial motors. The development of axial flux motors has brought numerous technical advantages, but it hasn't been without challenges. One significant obstacle lies in the higher production costs compared to their radial counterparts. While radial motors benefit from a well-established understanding and readily available manufacturing methods and machinery, axial motors face unique hurdles. One of the main challenges revolves around maintaining a uniform air gap between the rotor and stator. The magnetic forces in axial motors are considerably greater than those in radial motors, making this task more demanding. Additionally, dual rotor axial motors encounter thermal issues due to the positioning of windings deep within the stator and between the two rotor discs, which hinders effective heat dissipation. Some designs opt for a yokeless topology, removing the iron yoke from the stators while retaining the iron teeth. Although this approach addresses certain problems and avoids scaling the motor's diameter and magnets, it introduces new challenges. One such challenge is fixing and positioning individual teeth without a mechanical yoke connection. Also, ensuring proper rotor production and maintaining the required tolerances on the air gap can be problematic as the rotor discs exert an attractive force on the rotor. However, these forces cancel each other out since the discs are directly connected via a shaft ring. This unique configuration means that the internal bearing doesn't bear these forces but serves only to center the stator between the two rotor discs. Adjusting the air gap during motor manufacturing has been particularly challenging as it demands precise control of the manufacturing tolerances of key components. This complexity has made stator design and volume production difficult, ultimately contributing to higher costs for axial flux motors. Reliability stands as a crucial factor in the automotive industry and proving the robustness of axial flux motors for large-scale manufacturing has been a challenge. To gain manufacturers' confidence, axial motor suppliers have conducted thorough verification programs, demonstrating that their motor's reliability matches that of conventional radial flux types. The bearings are the only parts that typically experience wear in axial flux motors. However, wear is minimized due to the close proximity and slight over-dimensioning of these bearings in the shorter axial design. Furthermore, the lower mass rotors in axial flux motor experience fewer rotodynamic shaft loads, resulting in reduced forces on the bearings compared to radial flux motors. The E-axle has been one of the initial applications for axial motors. The motor's thinner width allows it to be integrated into the axle and the gearbox. In hybrid applications, the shorter axle length of the motor contributes to a more compact drivetrain. Mounting the axial motor directly onto the vehicle's wheels enables power to be transferred efficiently, eliminating the need for a transmission, differential and a drive shaft, reducing system complexity. The lack of a standard configuration for axial motors indicates that each original equipment manufacturer explores specific configurations tailored to their electric vehicle designs. The higher power density of axial motors allows for using smaller motors compared to radial motors, providing more design flexibility within the vehicle platform, such as battery pack placement. Looking ahead, the optimization of axial flux motors is a key focus, targeting various power levels, power densities and price points to unlock a wide array of potential applications. There are opportunities to achieve the highest power to weight ratios, particularly in electric vehicles. As the design of electric vehicles advances, there will be a greater emphasis on weight reduction. Overcoming the challenges of heat transfer and volume manufacturing will be crucial in this endeavor. If successful, axial flux motors are expected to become inherently more cost-effective due to their efficient use of materials, positioning them as viable competitors to permanent magnet motors.
the reduced need for copper, steel and smaller magnets in axial flux motors will contribute to a notable reduction in overall costs. Furthermore, the lighter mass of these motors generates cost savings throughout the entire vehicle systems. Axial flux motors are poised to play an increasingly prominent role in powering the future of transportation. So, the pursuit of efficiency and cost effectiveness in axial flux motor development will undoubtedly lead to exciting advancements in the world of electromobility. That's all from this video. What do you think of this technology? Please let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.